couldn't watch it, say it, or do it anywhere. Now, my mother wouldn't let us say anything. I mean anything. Without getting a smack in the mouth or a bar of soap. That's what they used to do when you said bad words. Frankie knows what I'm talking about. He, he gave me the look. Yeah, brother, I know. I know what ivory tastes like. <clears throat> if your mom is not a good judge of what should and shouldn't be said, Mason, be careful what you say now. Could get in a lot of trouble. Do the David Bass test or the preacher test. If the preacher was here, would I let him watch this movie with me? Or would I hide it? I heard a story about some folks and the preacher came to visit and the father said to the little one, go get me the good book. And he brought back the TV guide. I want to talk a little bit about movies. <clears throat> I think that you could tell a lot about someone from the movies they like to watch. We had some people over our house once to watch a movie. And... Uh, she said, I got, got this movie that we can watch. I said, no, I've never heard of this. Is there anything in this movie that the people in my house would find objectionable? She said, no, I've seen it. I can't think of anything in there that's bad. I said, okay, that's fine. We pop popcorn. We all sit down and push start, and there's two naked people on the screen. So I'm, I'm like, oh, my gosh, what do I do? So my this is my reaction. Fast forward through it. That's not a good idea. That doesn't make it any better. The best thing is to take it out of the VCR, the DVD player, throw it away. Because if it starts that way, it ain't going to end any better. It's garbage. <clears throat> I heard a story, last story, and then you get some corn dogs, about a teenager who came to his father and said, I'd like to go to the movies tomorrow afternoon. Just wanted to get your permission. And the father said, well, that doesn't seem like a big idea. Why are, why are you coming and asking permission? He said, well, Dad, it's a great movie. It's, it's got my favorite actor in it. He's excellent. And he plays this really interesting character. And I've heard that the storyline is fantastic. I mean, edge of your seat, there's car chases. And, Dad, some of the best cinematography you've ever seen, some of this is filmed in other countries with beautiful landscapes and and all kinds of great things. And the father said, so what's the big deal? Why, why are you coming to me and asking permission? You know I'm going to let you. Well, Dad, there's, there's one real bad part in it. And, and I won't pay attention to it. I mean, when it's on the screen, I, I, I just won't, I won't pay attention to it, Dad. It's a great movie. I mean, a lot of great, in, there's great parts of it, great features. But there's just that one real bad part in it. So the father said, let, let me think about it. And I'll tell you tomorrow. So the next morning, his son came in and said, well, Dad, did, did you think about that movie? Can I watch it? Can I go to it? And the dad said, you know, I've been thinking about it. I, I don't think there's a problem with you going to the movie. But before you go, I want you to eat brownies. He said, these are great brownies, son. The finest cocoa mixed with love. Eggs, and sugar, and flour, and I even put a little, little icing on the top. Great brownie. Your mother and I made these just for you. Oh, but we did mix in a dog turd. So eat the brownies and go to the movie. Needless to say, they got the point. If it's garbage, it's garbage. Am I right? So don't go to your folks. Try to twist their arm and guilt them into letting you go to a movie that you know good and well you shouldn't go see.
Finally, brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honorable, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Let's close with a prayer and go have some food.